Wait, no, this cost me shards. I'm sharding to do this. That's not good, guys. That is not good at all. 5,000 shards for one of these? I don't have any money. What do you want me to do? Hey guys, welcome back to My Singing Monsters. It's been a while since the last big update for this game, but we got a new one today. However, I did miss a smaller update and people have been demanding in the comments that I give my opinion on the new dipsters on Magical Sanctum. So that's what we're gonna do first. Okay, so first of all, guys, let's go ahead and cut the music completely. All right, because we don't we don't want no music here. I need to get all these dipsters out. And you know, it's, it's really annoying trying to get the dipsters out. Okay, you gotta do one at a time and it goes because, because why not, right? Because we've, we've never seen a dipster before. So clearly we need to buy it and then have it go So anyway, I'm just saying that I'm gonna do this uh, seven times and then turn the music back on so I don't get it spoiled. I want to hear them in their entirety. Okay, honestly guys, this island has a very distinct vibe to it and I have no idea how the the dipsters are gonna fit in with that, you know? Like, oh. That was actually really cool, I'm not gonna lie. That might be one of my favorite sets of dipsters. What did you guys expect me to say about them? Let me know down below in the comments. Were you expecting me to like them or not? I gotta say, I do like the way they kind of like build up, you know, like dum 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 That's really cool. Uh, there's not much else to say about them. They're just like kind of a little melody that plays during the song, but yeah. As I said, Distinct Vibe wasn't sure how that was gonna sound, but uh, I like it. I'll give that one a thumbs up, okay? I don't always give thumbs up to the dipsters. I basically never do. So, uh, yeah. Guys, I think this is another part. Okay, all right, there's, 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 a, there's a couple parts. Uh, I, I, my freaking microphone, it's in the way of the plus button and I keep losing my uh, <laughs> my mouse on the screen when I try and get rid of the plus. That's why I'm like moving around over here, okay? Okay, so what's in this new update, guys? I guess it's these three things here. We've got uh, new monster, Epic Wallaby, available on Fire Oasis and Amber Island. Don't even talk to me about Amber Island, okay? We also have Epic Socks available on Ethereal Island. Don't talk to me about Epic Ethereals, to be honest. And then we have two new monsters on Ethereal Workshop. I don't know what they are, but they look kind of cool. Here we are on Ethereal Island again. Honestly, I'm never gonna get over what happened with the epic wisp on this island, okay? Like, we don't have it because it was so friggin' hard to breed and also it costed like 3,500 diamonds or something like that. So let's see how much this new guy costs. Probably a lot, right? Probably 3,500 diamonds. Do they even have a combination for it yet? Or am I too early to this update? I'm not spending my diamonds on it. I don't even have enough to do it, but I'm not gonna buy another $100 worth of diamonds just to buy this epic socks. Okay, the socks I'm wearing are good enough. Oh man, I missed the epic voodoo at some point, guys. You can't, you won't be able to see it here, of course, but he looks really nice. There he is, monster unavailable. Have I even seen him before? I don't know if I've even seen him before, guys. Like, take a look at this monster, man. I mean, he's pretty amazing. It's like a sort of octopus-ish, squid-ish or something. I don't know, I like him a lot. He's got really nice colors. I'm not gonna try and get something that I don't even know the combination for. That's just, that's silly talk. We'll just take a look at it right here. And I, 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 I might be able to read the description, maybe? I don't know if anyone's even gotten it yet. Epic Soxes are reputed to be able to shapeshift into ghost-like apparitions, but this is a misconception. The truth is far more unusual. These vulpine epic ethereals actually straddle parallel realities and have multiple traits to reflect this. They possess two tails, one for each continuity. The horned outgrowth that covers their heads and arms never occurs symmetrically, and their coloration calls forth imagery of suspicious spirits. In one of the epic Sox's timelines, there's a thriving tourism industry in the monster world for some reason, and the soup of the day is the most popular subject for small talk. Soup of the day is important. Okay, soup of the day is really important. The monster won't provide any further context for these cryptic clues, but they are often they often perform 
soulful ditties that guess at what might have been if that reality had ever merged with the main one. Okay, that's apparently the description, guys. I can't verify if that's true or not, but that's what it says on the uh, <laughs> on the old wiki. Yeah, we're we're too early, guys. Okay, but it's fine. We don't need to get this guy. He's just kind of a thing. Let's go look at the other thing. This one we might actually be able to get, guys. The epic wallaby. Um. I don't know if there's a combination for it, though. If there's not a combination, then the best I'd be able to do is buying it. And I'm not buying something if I don't have to, okay? Well, 750, I might actually buy it. Well, let me take a look on the internet. I would, I would, I feel like they would have discovered the combination for this one first, you know? Okay, they got a, they got a combination for this one, guys. That's great. We just need to combine the Waddle and the Boscus. Waddle and Boskis. so ugly wait I gotta, I gotta go with the level 15 one there we go so ugly what do we got why all I gotta do is not spend 750 diamonds guys and I will be out of here with a smile on my face okay and if I spend more than 750 I will be out of here with a frown on my face you know how it works okay guys failing is getting kind of expensive because if you breed a waddle it's 15 diamonds and then another 15 to speed it up that's 30 per fail I thought it was gonna be no problem. It might still be no problem, okay. <laughs> oh, what's this? 33 diamonds, folks. 33 diamonds for an epic wallaby. It's glowing. Cause that's what epics do. Okay. We did it. Smile on the face. Okay, that's an interesting looking uh, monster right there, guys. Looks kind of uh, cosmic. Oh, something else I'm missing from my collection there, guys. Is that an epic wink? Kinda want it to be honest, but I can't get it. Uh, let's let's eat a snizer, guys. I got a lot of snizers, and uh, I don't, I just don't have any room on my island. Okay, sorry. All right, meet your new friend, the epic wallaby. So as you can see, birds are a different color. They have little uh, like antennae on their heads. Square ears, which is interesting. The horns. I'm not sure where the horns start and the beard ends. Or the horn ends and the beard starts or something. Also, it's holding something in his tail. Let's see what kind of secrets this thing uh, will reveal to us. When monsters are having trouble getting to sleep, they're frequently invited to picture a flick of wallabies leaping over a fence and counting them as they pass. I don't know if that's what you call a flock of wallabies, a flick, or if that's just a typo. Imagine the Monster World's collective surprise, then, to discover an extra special wallaby invading their waking thoughts and pastures. This Empyrean fire epic looks as if it belongs among the orbs of the firmament, and its dreamy string-plucking birds have the plumage to match. If one locks eyes with an epic wallaby, it's said you can glimpse visions of an outlandish outlandish domain set against an impossible starscape and reachable only by walking the steps of the special stair. Don't go up the special stair, Grandma. I don't know if I don't know if it's supposed to be like uh, you know like going towards the light, like walking towards the light, but uh, don't do it, guys. Don't go there. Okay, yeah, uh, I just want to look at its eyes one more time. It has like rectangular uh, eyes, which is interesting. I didn't realize that these things are like almost like chewing. This one doesn't have any teeth. Okay, that's nice. You got better, better nails, better horns, better birds. Good times. Better, better beard as well. Good times. Okay, let's go to Ethereal Workshop, guys. I'm, I, I think these might be new quints. I'm not sure they would have to be, right? Maybe? No? Maybe not? I don't know. I don't really know. Give me my stuff. Thank you. Bam, bam, bam. Good times. Good times in here, boys. Let me go to the market. What's in the market? Uh, Piplash Invention. Okay, Piplash is a three element. That's good, and the other one's a four element. Okay, I was thinking Quint. I meant Quad, guys. I thought that the whale was a Quint. Okay, so I thought maybe they'd be both four element, but one's a three element and one is a four element. That's great. And that means that it'll be easier to do the Piplash anyway. So let's start with that one. Ghost, Gear, Biohazard. I feel like I always give them different names when I'm describing the elements. Okay, we got a biohazard, we need a ghost and a gear, so let's go for a ghost first, it's the shortest one, and we got ourselves a ghost. 
And then we're gonna go ahead and attune uh, gear. Yeah, boom, bam, got it. Now synthesize, was that button there before? You click the synthesize button, it brings you over here. I don't think so. Uh, okay, so ghost, gear, biohazard, wait. Upgrade the synthesizer for more stability. What do you mean? What do you mean upgrade it for more stability? What's so unstable about un, did I say unstable? What's so unstable about this? This doesn't make any sense. Whatever, I'll upgrade it. It's fine. I don't mind. I'll do whatever you want me to do. This is a hyper refined synthesizer. Just like my tastes, they're hyper refined. Okay, well, let's try the synthesization process again. Because apparently it wasn't good enough before. Warning! This is about to get hot. Psych. It ain't. They took my gear from me, guys. I gotta go get another gear. Woo! <laughs> Try again. Oh, 30 diamonds, that sounds promising. What is that? That looks like a honeycomb. Is that a honeycomb? Wow. I don't think it's a honeycomb. Oh! Whoa! Okay, that kind of sounded like a, like a, sort of like a funky electric guitar sort of sound, you know? I want to get some of that. I want to get some of that going here on the old uh, ethereal workshop, man. Hard to beat the depression bear, or whatever his name is. He's a pretty good time. Dawson, I want to hear you first, and then I want to know all about you, okay? This guy's awesome, man. Look at him go. Yeah. Yeah, you know this guy's gonna rock out because it, what else do you do when you, when you when you have your hands like this, you know? Just having to listen to these beautiful creatures. I wonder where that hole actually goes in there, guys. Because the, the, it can't go to his stomach. Oh, whoa! Well, that's kind of cool. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Wow, this triple element ethereal is not what we were expecting. In a class of monsters that includes some of the most unsightly, more unsightly species, most, I would say, <laughs> the Piplash exists in stark and striking contrast. It's so cute and endearing. I don't know about cute and endearing, but yeah, kind of, I guess, especially, you know, comparing it to Depression Bear over here. Even its headbanging stereotypically associated with hardcore genres is absolutely delightful. What precisely? is going on. Is the Piplash harboring some secret, putting up a front, concealing a side we can't see? Could the monster possibly be as wholesome as it as it outwardly seems? This is driving us crazy! We're like, this monster's not ugly enough to be here! Ah! My whole life has been a lie! I thought everybody at Ethereal Workshop was gonna be ugly, and then you put a cute guy over here, and he's just going like this and having a good time, man! Ah! Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, I wish he had a bigger part, if I'm honest. Like, I feel like he deserves more. Okay, so I was gonna start attuning, but I guess I'll check and see what needs to be attuned first. The Vention. That's an ugly thing. That's like more machine than monster, but I mean, so is Flask over here. There's not a whole lot of monster going on in Flask, so, so that's, that's cool. Um, goo, Ghost, Gear, Biohazard. We already have goo, so let's go for ghost, gear, biohazard. Can't wait to get just absolutely destroyed when I try and do this, guys. They're gonna... They, oh, yeah. Right, we have to... We have to do a thing, don't we? Oh, jeez. Goo, ghost, biohazard, we put a gear in there. Try that. Whatever, it's just a weird automaton thing. We don't care about that, right? We don't care about, we don't care about that. Wait, what? I'm out of shards? Well, I can buy them with a lot of coins. How many shards do I need, dude? What the hell happened to me? I was, I was, I was the king, man. What happened? Cost 25, 5,000 shards? 5,000? Okay, where can I get shards again? I gotta go look around and see which islands give you shards. Tribal does, I think. What do we got here? How many? A few. Wait, where's my? Show me, show me the shards. 
some shards over here as well. You guys need to be replaced. We need to buy the missing eggs. How much? No. <laughs> Bro, what am I gonna do? Like, do I? I guess I just have to hit this button a lot. But even so, it's gonna be difficult. Like, I have 750 million. A hundred each means that I can get 70,000? If that's the case, I guess I'll just have to do this, but it's not gonna be fun. Okay, that was the thing. That was the thing I don't wanna have to keep doing. Excuse me. I honestly just feel like I'm gonna be so disappointed here, but let's let's give it a try. Here you go, roll gua. We'll stick in this and go. Not enough meeps. Oh! Oh, I need a lot of meeps for that. Well, you better freaking do it. You better actually pull this off. I don't understand. You put this guy in. Oh. Okay, and then you need to get extra memes besides. We need a ghost, one of these, and, a, and a, that guy. Okay, the three of that guy. Wait, no, this cost me shards. I'm sharding to do this. That's not good, guys. That is not good at all. 5,000 shards for one of these? I don't have any money. What do you want me to do? Guys, I just found out that you can hit the enter button instead of clicking on the check mark, which means that I can make this a little bit slightly faster. Honestly, guys, this is what I get for never caring about my shard count. You know, it's always been like, I don't know, can't do anything with the shards anyway, so just leave me alone. And now it's like, really wish I had some shards so I could do some stuff, you know. 10,000 shards, baby. We'll go over here. Well, uh, well, we gotta get this one. 5,000. Thank you. Synthesize. Now we should be able to pop in stupid thing and then other stupid thing. Speed. That didn't work. Okay, well, that's not the worst thing in the world. Now I have a bunch of those biohazard things. So, those, those are expensive. I need two ghosts to turn this guy into a ghost. See, it's only 500 bucks to turn this guy into a ghost. But it's actually better off to do it this way. So we'll do it this way. Wait, what? What did I... What did I just do? What did I... Didn't I just... Where did... Oh, right. I had 5,000. And then I had enough for another fail. I was like, where did all my money go? I thought I had a bunch of money. Okay, guys, I... I'm gonna try and get this, but I do need to obviously exchange like all of my money for shards or weight or whatever. So I'll I'll come back, okay? You know, it's fine for you. You're just gonna, this is gonna be a video, but I'm gonna come back later when I have the shards and keep trying. Well, guys, you can't say I didn't try, okay? I turned almost all my coins into shards, and when that didn't work, I waited till the next day to get more shards, and now here I am, shardless and monsterless. So unfortunately, guys, I will not be getting Vention today, but that doesn't mean I can't hear it anyway, right? Behold, a workshop within the workshop. Fittingly, the mech quad Vention looks like the wooden workbench of monster antiquity where items and decorations alike were crafted. If that workbench sprang into life and swapped crafting for a clanging, not only is this contraption itself a product of mechanical invention, it's an inventor in its own right. The monster is constantly experimenting with the materials available to devise new gadgets and gizmos, not unlike the celestial that shares its elemental affiliation. Rumors swirl that it's planning a high mech heist to distract Zero and escape into the great beyond, but we're not sure the world is prepared for Vention Impact. Vention Impact, really? Also, I, I think it's Z Zeroi. Z Zeroi, I think, is the name of that thing. Anyway, whatever. Uh, that's a long description, I gotta say. All right, guys, I'm calling in a favor for my old pal, MSM Poke Gamer. I knew he was gonna have a video of the new Vention on his channel. Thanks, buddy. Here goes. It's a very creepy creature. Very spider-like. I don't know if I like that. Dude, they turned sighing into a song. I need to hear that uh, with everything else. I don't even know, like, I feel like it's not gonna, it's not gonna be like super involved in the song, you know? It's gonna be just sort of in the background. 
Okay. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell, you know, what's actually, uh, <laughs> what's actually coming from the Vention versus the other monsters. I can hear the saw a little bit. Okay, all right, that's, that's, that's not bad. Uh, okay, it adds a little bit. That definitely adds a little bit to the song, guys. Um, you know, not not super impactful. Not like the uh, the whale over here, you know, screaming with uh, six mouths or anything. So there is one more thing we can do today, guys, that I didn't know about, and that is breeding the rare bookworm. Apparently that's a thing. Okay, so we're gonna go to Psychic Island and try and get it. I say try and get it because I have no faith in anything anymore. Oh, man. I forgot about the bowhead here, man. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Rare bookworm, it's only 500 diamonds, guys. Not that I'm gonna buy it, but it should be relatively easy to breed in that case, right? Right? Okay, this could actually be difficult, guys, because of the fact that we're trying to breed a bookworm here, but the chances are we're gonna get a common one if we even do breed it, but you never know. Regular bookworm, guys. I finally got something other than the two things I was putting in and it was a common. Okay, that's fine. This is my life. 24, it's a rare bookworm. All right. Ah, <laughs> my life has been saved. It's very, uh, very colorful. I kind of want to eat it. It looks like a gummy worm. I think it's supposed to be a gummy worm. I like that. I like gummy worms. Common bookworm versus rare bookworm. Yeah, de one definitely looks a lot tastier, guys. Okay, let's read about it. You're perhaps familiar with cooking the books, but have you ever heard of baking the books? That's the rare bookworm's specialty. Ah, tax evasion, we like it. In place of the typical stack of unapproachable biblios, this seasonal concocts layers of sugary confections that cause the most fanciful fictions to be imagined upon their Delectation. What? Rather than using one's eyes to perceive the written word, these stories are delivered and deciphered via degustation. There are some who argue that the only way to enjoy a book is to read it the old-fashioned way, but as far as the rare bookworm is concerned, encouraging a love of literacy by any means necessary is a recipe for success. Okay. Why, why read the books when you can eat the books? Good. Good call. No mention of you being a gummy worm, but I'm pretty sure you're a gummy worm and that's great. Well guys, that's it for this episode of My Singing Monsters. Yes, I'm disappointed that we didn't get the Vention, but I'll get him later, okay? I'll come back and I'll, and I'll get more shards and then I'll try again. They can't deny me forever. One more thing before we end this video, guys. If you have anything My Singing Monsters related you'd like to see me do for a video, please let me know down below in the comments. I know that I haven't uploaded enough MSM videos lately. Thank you very much. Also, thank you for watching. Thanks for hitting the like button and thanks for clicking right here to watch another one of my videos.